Two investments earn an annual income of 775. One investment earns an annual simple interest rate of 8.1% and the other investment earns an annual simple interest rate of 9.9%. Total amount invested is 8200. How much is invested in each account? Okay. So we got two accounts working together to achieve the total earnings. And they tell us that the uh, total earnings is 775. Okay, so we're going to have our 8.1% account. Then we'll have our 9.9% account. Then we'll have uh, dollars in percent. And dollars in percent. Well, it's 8.1%. That's going to be 0 0.081. And this 9.9% will be 0.099. It says how much is invested in each account. Well, uh, I'm going to put X in one of these. And they say there's a total of 8,200. So this one's going to be 8,200 minus X. It's always that way. If you're not given these two amounts, one of them will be X, one of them will be your total minus X. Well, now I want to solve this. So i got X times 0.081. That gives us 0.081X. Plus... 8200 times 0 0.099 so 8200 times 0 0.099 and that gives us 811.8 negative x uh, times 0 0.099 Gives us negative 0.099x. Too many decimals are running together in my head. Okay. Combine together like terms. So combine these two together. So I got 0.081 minus 0.099. And that gives us negative. 0.018x plus 811.8 times 0 0.099 equals 775. So I take this number, move it over to the right side. So we got negative 0.018x is equal to 775 minus 811.8. Okay, so 775 minus 811.8, negative 36.8. Now we're solving for x, we'll divide both sides by the number in front of the x. So divide both sides by negative 0.018. Same thing over here. Those are going to cancel. And um, negative divided by negative is positive. And 36.8 divided by 0.018. Now round to two decimal places. Gives us 2044.44. And this is for X, which is our 8.1% account. So that's how much is in that account. Now total, there's a total of 8,200. So I'm going to take 8,200 minus that. So 8,200 minus uh, 2,044.44. And that's going to give us 6,155.5. For our 9.9% .9 account. And those are our two amounts.